welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. Today we return. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are your favorite types of animals, amazing variety. We are back and we got a free gift available to us. Rockwell recipes, battle, tartare. Only need this dish when you tend to go into a brawl, yada, yada, yada. This concoction can be habit forming. Alrighty then. Well, uh, habit forming, that doesn't sound, that sounds like a doozy. But I hope you guys have seen your favorite good times today. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. If you guys are new to your playlist down below to catch up on this series, make sure to subscribe to the notification bell, hit to stay up to date with it as it does come out because you guys seem to enjoy the bejesus out of it i am loving this dive down nostalgia lane what nostalgia what do you mean star it just came out i played so much there's probably like 500 episodes of arc up on the channel from back in the day so to see it on mobile and to see it in such a beautiful beautiful light is absolutely insane but anyways right now we are currently on a pursuit they want us to take a nap and they want us to kill some time we could go ahead and abandon this pursuit if we want or we could wait for nighttime to hit and allow it to happen so i'm thinking that we're going to do that but in the meantime there's other productivity that I would also like to knock out of the way mainly do we have any levels here uh no no level ups right now though we should be getting one soon what we do have we could go over here we don't have any amber yet hopefully we could get some at some point i'll Although, it looks like we can get one for watching an ad. 15 for a buck? Mm, maybe. Oh, I had to burp a little bit. Maybe down the line. I don't know. But right now, what I'm focused upon is this stuff right here. And we can definitely get some very, very nice upgrades going. Like the bow, the arrow, and a ton of marvelous things like that. Even some saddles. <laughs> I think it might be about time that we try and whip on up some, uh, what should we call it? some taming i don't know why english is so hard for me at times a modern tesla is here too i'm guessing that's gonna be a quest by the way so although this isn't necessarily the current quest slash pursuit that we are on guaranteed it's gonna be one such thing that does end up like this so for now let's uh open on the door in the house that would they was going so well i was being an expert builder until i put this last roof down that's when everything hit the fan but okie dokie are choky Let's see what we need for the mortal and the pistol. Oh, mama, we need a lot of stone and a little bit of hide. Okay, well, the hide shouldn't be too hard. I hear the dodos cluck, cluck, clucking about. What up, dodo? How you doing, you extank little bird? I might need to tame up one of you. Frodo the dodo might need to make his triumphant return. Oh, man. Some of, so many of you guys don't know about Frodo. And all his, if you guys know about Frodo, I better see some Frodo the dodo in the comment section, all right? I better see you guys' favorite story about Frodo the dodo in the comment section. If you guys are confused, just know that Frodo is our savior. He's, he's a very long time savior, okay? But, uh, so do, are we at least good on hide after killing that uh, fella right there? I don't know why I'm clicking. There we go. Okay, so we're good on hide. We just got to try and get some stone. Stone should come pretty easily just from swinging on some rock, and that shouldn't be too hard all you gotta do is double tap on this puppy and there okay there's a stone i was about to say like we're not getting the stone now we are we might need to explore out a little bit however because i don't know well actually if we keep on getting this amount of stone i didn't i thought that rock would break a lot faster i think we'll be pretty good to break this stuff around here but if you guys are enjoying the series definitely let me know in that comment section down below in addition to your photo of the dodo appreciation comment and uh, by hitting that like button as well this is definitely a series that i'm super open to continuing and after the first episode it really seems that you guys want to see it continued so uh, just keep on showing that love and support and i'm a man of the people i will give the people that which they seek but right now i gotta give me that which i seek which is a brand new hatchet that is not okay we got to get rid of the broken one oh we could just repair the broken one i forgot about that you could repair things in an arc like i'm saying man it's been a while like i like i'm saying just cut me some slack i'm kind of like relearning the game almost you know but trust me i was quite the hardcore arc player back in the day but for now I, I will be here to guide you through and i saw a lot of questions like star it's not on the app store or something um uh, the game itself it is free to download links will be in the description like i said i have the android link and the ios link because it was a struggle to find when I went to try to find it, it was uh, absolutely awful. I, I had to like scroll quite a while, which was shocking. So it was like on the front page of the Apple store. But then when you search Ark Survival, it's like, oh, it's like the 20th result or something. So I'll make sure to do that. And as a reminder, though, it is only restricted to kind of some higher end devices. I'm not exactly sure what those are. I think you need, might need like an iPhone 6 minimum. But I don't know because I am running the iPhone X with these marvelous graphics that I hope you guys are enjoying the bejesus out of. But how are we looking on them stones? One more rock and we should have more than enough we'll get a little bit extra for good measure too that trike dude 
Hopefully we can try and tame. I'm I'm kind of scared to do some taming on mobile, but I feel like that's something that might end up happening today. We're building our way towards it. That's exactly what we're doing. The mortar and pestle will allow us to start crafting narcotics, which are key and central to the taming process. And like I'm saying, I'd love to tame up a trike maybe. I just don't know how well that's going to go. And since things do have health bars, I wonder if they also have narcotic bars and we could see how close they are uh, to falling. But for now, all I know is that I'm very close to getting this mortar and pistol into our base. And from there, we can start doing some things with it. I think we should have most things unlocked. Let's just get that over. We can place and we'll put that, we'll put it in the open so we can sun dry our ingredients too. Uh, that's not actually a thing. Just, I'm um, just, just, just roll with it. All right. Uh, but we can tap on through here, and we can see that we got narcotics. We're gonna need a lot of narco berries for that. We don't have a lot, but we also need spoiled meat. I got a little bit, so I suppose we could begin the process at least and get a one of these up. Uh, ooh, bolas. That's another thing that we might want to invest some of our time and resources into. How's the sun looking, by the way? Hello, Shun. Where art thou? All right. Well, I. The clouds are the sun, apparently, because that's where all the light's coming from. Um, okay, though. Let's go back to them. Engrams, we got a lot of points to spare. What else do we want? We learned the bola. Good stuff. Learned the bow. Good stuff. Stone arrow. Good stuff. We still don't have mm, narcotic arrows. Yeah, so we might need to try to keep things to the slingshot. Uh, so why don't we try to get a slingshot crafted on up for this uh, taming adventure zen. Where are you slingshots? What do you need? Fiber! You need some fibre. That's okay, because when we collect fiber, we will also get some narco berries. And I seriously love, like, the... Dude, I'm not gonna lie, the controls for... I had... I, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest here. I had extremely low expectations for the controls of, like, Archon Mobile, but... I, I've been impressed. I have been su surprised, to say the least. Like, are they as good as PC? No, but, like, it's it's a lot of intuitivity, you know? Like, you swipe from the right, next thing you know, you can scroll through all that jazz. Swipe from the left, you got some options. You look around, you can swipe up to jump. Like, all in all, it's gonna take some getting used to, but it is, uh... It's not that shabby. I'm actually kind of a fan. They shouts out to whoever developed, uh, what should we call it? The controls. Whoever thought to make them this way, good stuff. And here's the thing: the arc menus too, and everything. They like, they go surprisingly well. Like the, the new menu system. If you guys remember the old menu system of arc, it was not like this. But the new menu system. I wonder if they did that rehaul in the first place to kind of like optimize it for mobile because it works very well with mobile. But maybe I'm just starting to get into too high levels of conspiracy there. What I want to get into now, though, is the slingshot, and maybe we could even begin attempting our first tame. We don't necessarily need narcotics. We just need narco berries, and, uh, ooh, we also need meat to spoil. I forgot about that. Uh, so we can go ahead, and is there an easy way of splitting? Um, I'm not seeing an easy way of splitting these items in our inventory, so that's kind of poopy. I guess you can double tap them, but, eh, yeah, it's not really working. Hmm, I wonder. I mean, we might need to mess around with that a little bit. Oh, you know what we should mess around with too? Maybe get some clothes on us. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and learn all those things. Stop being butt naked. We could also get some water skins too. That'll probably be important once we start moving a little bit more inland. For now though, if we take a look at the map, we are definitely a little bit closer to, uh, to the outskirts of it. But I'm thinking that what makes sense is to go north and take things from there uh now i have explored a lot of this island back in the day but uh things have probably changed since then so there might be a couple of suppressors awaiting us throughout but with the thingy mabob did we craft it up yet or did we just learn it i mean i know we learned a bunch of those other things but oh we could actually craft some of them too first things first let's get the slingshot in there we're gonna have to collect a lot of rocks and set out on our first hating adventure i think that sounds like a plan to me First things first, though, so let's get some of them clothes. What do we need for these clothes? Just more fiber. All right, well, why don't we do a little bit of a double whammy here? We'll go on a taming adventure, and we'll pick up fiber for some clothes. So double tap and hold to knock and fire the arrow. So double tap holds it, and then boop. Kobe! Oh, my God. I got this dodo hard. Get back here, dodo. Don't think you can run from me. I'm going to hit you in the face with these stones. How are you not unconscious yet? There we go. Dodo down. Hello, Dodo. You're looking, uh, well, I don't know, pretty knocked out to say the least. All right, though, how do we do this? Uh, oh, oh, hold on. It was just right there. Uh, so hold down to view an enemy. Oh, hold, uh, there we go. Okay, so when it's selected, unconscious, hold down to view. Okay, so I'm hold, held down. What is this over here? He has a creature implant artifact. Okay, the creature's essence is intact. I don't really care about his essence, though. I just care about giving him some 
Let's give him some of these berries and maybe he'll start chowing down because that is the type that the oh look at that Look at that dude. That's actually kind of cool. You can see it kind of like lifting up and stuff dude We're about to have dodo. We're about to got a dodo. Maybe actually he, he stopped eating as much. Come on dodo All you gotta do you can't look at the dodo. It's weird. You gotta look at like weird angles This is it's gonna take some getting used to to know exactly like where to look and stuff stop jumping god dang it I want you jumping that much, but I wonder how can we look at uh it doesn't show the dodo how hungry he is or anything either. Interest. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it does show. You just got to swipe through a little bit. Interesting. I didn't actually know that. But here is our first creature of the tamed variety. Hello, you marvelous looking dodo. Oh, some creatures can be picked up. Open the function bar and select the icon to pick up the feature. Oh, hello, dodo. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I have a dodo in my hands. Marvelous. Can I like throw this thing to something? Woohoo! Oh my god, how you doing though, Dodo? You know what you know, you know, you know what we gotta do. In that comment section down below, let me know what you guys would like this Dodo to be named. This is the first creature of hopefully many, many more to come. So this better be a very special name coming for the Dodo. The first of its kind. The first of its same variety. Let me know in that comment section down below. And uh make sure to scroll through the comments a little bit. Like any names that you guys do like. So hopefully we can uh you know figure out the best name from you guys. Because I love involving you guys as much as possible in as many series as I can and what I found I love doing for Ark man anytime we tame someone I I ain't naming them all right we as a community name them so make sure to hop on that but Jesus how much longer is it gonna be till nighttime for the sleeping bag I tamed myself up a creature let's actually pick him up one more time look at this little look at this goofy little thing let's get that uh survivor view here and oh there we go I wonder if you can actually look around the survivor view at all or like how that oh there we go there we go can you like zoom out at all I have no clue how to zoom out on this, but at the very least, I it is confirmed I'm holding a dodo. So that's kind of Jesus, man. This dodo's massive. I'm just picking it up by its bum. All right, no. Oh, so double tapping like zooms out different amounts. Okay. Oh, there we go. Wait for nightfall. Stay close to your sleeping bag's location. And return after nightfall. Make sure you aren't hungry or thirsty. Um. All right. Well, it looks like the it's progressing a little bit i think it's trying to say that it's almost nighttime or whatever so tapping on the okay so a little nifty thing here if you guys play it for yourselves right side of the screen lets you like look around and stuff if you double tap it you will zoom in and just kind of go through various levels of the zoom in okay and then if you just click anything on the left side of the screen it will cancel and then uh let's jump up and Kobe. oh right on top of the house oh hold on hold on you know what we, you know what we gotta do hold on I know, nope, stay up there, Dodo. Yeah, unless you want, oh, okay, you can fall off. Uh, here's what I want to do. All right, first things first, pick him up. Can we Kobe the Dodo? <laughs> we're, play we're playing a little bit of Dodo ball first here. All right, you guys see that? See that abomination of a roof I put down? It, it, uh, it's actually so I could just throw all my tamed animals into my home. So, Savenya! Uh, uh, oh! That, look at that, it, like rattled around the rim and rolled in. All right, well, we got a dodo to our possession. That's awesome. Okay, though, let's try and get some of that fiber and actually get some of this basic armor going. And there's, there's plenty of dodos. I, I, will we tame more dodos? Who knows? At the very least, we got a companion. We got a buddy. We could tell all of our deepest, darkest secrets to. Like, I could tell him about the time that I murdered all his friends and family. Actually, I think we might need to hold off on that. I don't think he's ready. <laughs> it's I, I did just tame him. I don't want him running away in fear and then me having to eat him and what's the word i'm looking for in response to his fear yeah sorry I, I i know i gotta be feared but you can't run away from me and why can't i not look at his bush this is what i'm saying sometimes it is a little bit weird i to like figure out exactly what you got like where you gotta look at on the screen but when you get it at least it does like glow super nicely so that does kind of make up for it um so that should be a good amount of fiber coming our way so i haven't leveled up surprisingly really Dang, dude, we were screw. I, I guess it is because we are waiting for that nightfall quest to finish on up. So while that is happening, let's get, I don't know. It's, I keep messing up how to get to the crafting menu. Let's get the hat. Let's get those shoes. And uh, wow, we need a lot more fiber than I thought, don't we? Fiber or hide? Mm, probably gonna be a little bit of both. All right, so Dodo, good thing he's in the base. I, mean, I don't want him witnessing what's about to happen. Listen, I'm, it's, uh, I'm sorry that I had to do this. To your brethren. Oh, we should also try and pick up some. Uh, Woohoo! Get back here. Rick, I don't want to be jumping around. There you go. Down he goes. Oh my god, where'd that dodo go? Misero dodo. Jesus, man. He flew away. He was floating on something. Can get a little bit more uh, meat out of that. Hopefully, continue making that into the spoiled meat. I will tame you one day, trike. I'm, I'm very. Taming a trike, I think, is going to be our first big attempted tame. 
You know, because mobile, like, I don't know. Mobile taming seems like it might be weird. Dodos don't really fight back. Dillos are kind of a pushover. I, I think that guy right there might be our, our first big test. So that's going to gonna be interesting. If you guys got any tips or tricks before that happens, please bless my face with all of them. I will definitely appreciate every single one. How is it not nighttime yet? God dang it. At the very least, can we craft up? Oh, first things first, before we can get to craft, then let's get to equipping. That is one right there. That's two right there. We got the shoes. We got the hat. We still need a little bit more than that. So what comes next on the schmogus board of things? Gloves! Marvelous. Unless we crafted... No, we didn't craft up gloves. Just had to make sure. We do also have uh, the Nedri glasses skin. You can use this. Uh, why don't we do exactly that? Yeah, let's... Uh, well, how do I do the Nedri? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, no. How do I? Oh, hold on. I got an idea. I know what to do. I know what to do. Unless the Nedri glasses skin is. Oh, can I click on this? There we go. Skins and Nedri glasses skins. Let's use it. And we're looking nice and nerd delicious. I love it. I don't think we have boots. Oh my God. That Dodo is clucking like a Dodo. Okay. Back on topic though, what are we gonna need to get the shirt finished up? Just a whole ton of fiber? Whole ton of fiber, so looks like nighttime is about to come. So all in all, I think once we get this fiber and we have some clothes on our backs, that should be good. And like I was saying, all the stuff that we're doing now, if it is part of a quest slash pursuit in the future, we're getting it out of the way. So we should be able to progress a lot faster and get a lot more EXP down the line. So instead of just waiting, doing nothing, oh, we are being productive, baby. Because I don't think the game would let us, you know, just continue being naked the game definitely would want us to craft some clothes you know it's common decency man although the red the big clothes the pantalons and the shirt those are going to be a tad bit more on the expensive side in terms of fiber on the other side of this island looks like a tad bit more on the expensive side in terms of uh what is this here we're seeing huh i don't really know it just looks uh, i thought i saw a couple of rare creatures but for now i'm just seeing the trike over there Maybe, oh, dude, I'm, I don't want to, oh my god, you know what I just remembered? Scorpions. Dear god, man, running into scorpions on mobile, that's going to be a doozy. Hopefully we come prepared for that. Hopefully we got some, I, I think, honestly, best way of being prepared is to have a couple of tamed buddies to help us out through these tough times. And a couple of ferns, nothing like a fern to really keep her going. And when the going gets tough and the tough get going, you know what I mean? Let's get one more maybe, baby, because we still have to wait for nightfall, but we're definitely getting there. This is getting a lot more night timing than it's ever been. Uh, let's get back to the inventory. We can get a shirt crafted up. And how many more? We need two. Literally two fiber to get the pantaloons. So we'll just go ahead and click on through. I, I keep on like trying to like continuously click, but I, I keep on forgetting. You can just kind of double tap and hold. And your person will just keep on punching. You know, look at that. Marvelous. Beauty. Beauty. This is how you just get into like a huge wallop of a fight. All you got to do is double tap and hold and... Next thing you know, it's also how you collect a bejesus ton of stuff, but all right. Those things aside, pantalons! Welcome to my inventory. Or more importantly, welcome to my legs! Look at that. Oh my god, those are some stylish pants. Are we sure those are just cloth pants? God dang, this girl is rocking them like no other. Let's get the gloves on, and then finally, let's get the shirt on. How are we looking on food? Food's looking all right. Water's looking great. Might need to eat up a little bit of food, but other than that, we got the armor for it, so bless up to that. We got all these buffs and stuff. Dude, I I, I want to hit level 15. Look at that lumber mill. Instantly construct wooden structures and gain early access to many wooden items. I don't give me, like, mm, I, I definitely just want, I think I might need to sacrifice a little bit of my wallet and try to get that lumber mill because I want to show that off to you guys because those are, those are some of the 100% new things that were added in onto uh, Arc Mobile. All of these, like Lumber Mill, Dye Studio, Stone Workshop, Chef Station. Like, dude, look at that. Hot dog, actually. Some of these things get insane. Especially that factory. Build electronics and gizmos to spruce up your base. Hot dog. All right, though. Nighttime yet? Is this... Oh, my God. How are we still not... You know, we're just... Well, I'm gonna wait. Actually, instead of waiting, we could also try to be productive on a different front. We could try some productivity over here with the bola bola. All that we need, we got an okay amount of stones. We just gotta go and murder a couple innocents. That should make up for the hides. We gotta collect some stones, obviously. Not just for the slingshot, but also for, uh, whatchamacall, for the bolas. Because I think they take three stones, I wanna say. There's three stones in the picture, and I think that it said three, but I'm basing it more off the picture because I don't remember the other part as much. Uh, but, dang. We're actually starting to run kind of low on stones in the near vicinity. 
We're absolutely blowing through these. But once we get, eh, I say maybe one more and we get some resources from that. Because, I mean, look at the bottom of the screen, too. It's not like we're getting too much weight added on to us. Our weight is doing pretty good. So that's also marvelous news to hear because the weight can definitely be troublesome. I, that's one thing I vividly remember from Ark getting over encumbered and just hating everything. But let's just get the rest of this rock. Then we'll collect some thatch from a couple of the trees and just have some resources to play around with and craft up some miscellaneous stuff. We're not necessarily going after specific things right now besides the bola bola. All that we're doing is just trying to be as productive as possible. And all right, there goes that thing. Question is, can we repair it? Let's freaking go. Look at that. Repair straight through the hot bar. That's what I like to see. Super easy access and we can flop it back in and finish this god dang rock. Get out of here, rock. You were meant to be here. This is my land and I ain't gonna let no rocks get between me and it. And then the stone, I'm probably gonna have to do something with the stone pickaxe soon too. But there we go. Shouldn't be too bad. No, not the, there, there we go. Get that puppy repaired. How long is it gonna take this repair? Oh, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Never mind, never mind, never mind. We got more important things to do. Uh, and oh, we can of course double tap to sprint. I keep forgetting about that, man. We're just walking normal speed. Uh, so how do we do this? Uh, I can skip a large part of the night. Look at your bag and select the sleep button in the upper left hand corner. Uh, oh, that's the problem though. We will actually die if that happens. So first things first, we have nothing cookable, but we do have a poop ton of Amar berries that we can chow down through to give us all that food that we need. I love that it says it like in that description. You guys see that kind of where it says Amar berry times two consumable. It's at the bottom of that plus 1.5 food. I love that. It tells you what to expect out of it and I can expect survival after nap time. Dude, I would kill for some nap time IRL. Remember as a kid, when everyone thought nap time was the worst, I'm gonna tell you what, nap time is not the worst, dude. Nap time is freaking dope. And okay, I thought we were sleeping through the night, not sleeping into the night. What is this shenanigans? Well, our thirst is quenched. If we could get a bit more food, we could probably quench a couple other things too. Uh, can we get that narcotic crap? Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. I gotta like build up a ramp to this. No, 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 don't start breaking stuff. Hello, Dodo. How you doing? He, he, Dodo's like my little pupper here. That's pretty much what he is. Let's get this thing opened on up. Uh, we do have a couple more of these. So before any of these things go bad, let's definitely get one more narcotic. I, can I not, can I not? I'm trying to, oh, I guess I gotta click craft. I was trying to double tap it. No double tap today. But that is gonna be two narcotics. So we can continue that. And let's try and pick which pursuit we would like to do. Uh, we do have a level up, however, first. Ooh, baby, baby. Oh, what do we want to go up in terms of level? I think movement speed is going to be a good one, man. I love moving around super, super fast. All right, so fresh breakfast is going to require a cooking pot first. Uh, Dillo hunt, however, knowledge of the forebears. Uh, that just sounds spooky, but a Dillo hunt, on the other hand, sounds good. All right, so it wants me searching. All right, hungry. Well, first, thing, craft a bow and 10 stone arrows first, actually. So, okay, looks like we got a couple things we got to get done first. I think we should be able to craft that up, though. Um, maybe not. We need some things first. Hell of a lot of fiber. Jeez, we need 50. Can we craft up 10 arrows at least? No, we need hell of a lot of fiber, too, and hell of a lot of thatch. We need hell of a lot, a lot of things. Uh, well, as long as the stone pick's ready, that should be good. Is it still the middle of the night? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Ah. Uh, Here's the thing. Where's that campfire we put down oh so long ago? I completely forgot where I put that. Oh, there it is. Does this thing still have anything in it? I haven't like used it in a while, but oi, 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 oi. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. I don't want to break you. I just want to access you. Uh, no, just spoiled meat. Well, can I fix that and make it not so spoiled? Maybe I'll just toss all the wood that we got in there and light the fire. Please give me some food because I'd definitely like to sleep through this, but I just got to craft the bone 10 stone arrows. So while that's cooking, at the very least, we could try to be productive. I can't see a goddamn thing, by the way. So when I say try to be productive, I really mean try because I ain't seeing nothing. But ooh, it is raining. Look at that. So they got weather effects in the mobile version, too. I mean, I don't I wasn't expecting them not to be in there, but good to know that they are there, I guess. And wait, do they still auto hydrate us? Are we going to be at 100 hydration right now? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, baby. Oh, I'll take that. We don't even have to like press E or anything. It just, just comes straight to us. Hell to the yeah, baby. Hell to the yeah. These rocks on the other hand though, hell to the what in tarnation? This is some of the most durable rocks I've ever met in my entire lifetime. Look at all the flint they be getting. It's loco, senor. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of stone out of them here too. I don't know if we need stone for all the stuff, but better safe than sorry. In worst case, better to have some backup resources when the time comes, but the bow and arrow is going to be coming and 
We gotta look for them dillos and stuff, and I think that food should be right about ready. So we'll go ahead and check in on that. Pretty easy to find when it's lit up. It's not like it's just looking for a pile of rocks and woohoo! Why are you jumping over that game? Like, I think the game just auto jumps over certain things. No? It didn't auto jump. Uh, who, who knows? It's like, I don't know. Ow, ow, ow! Freaking don't light me on fire game. God dang. It's like, I'm not going up enough and it thinks I'm swiping up. I think that's the thing. Uh, that's the thing right there. Cooked meat. Chow down on all of that. And then, why don't we sleep through the... the ah! I mean, daytime's about to come, but at the same time... Yeah, let's just... I Oh, I wonder. Will... Oh. If this progresses the game a lot, does that mean that our campfire suddenly is going to have... So it's not totally finished. I think it ran out of wood, but still look at that time. Oh, that's actually gonna be very handy. Time passes like crazy during times like that. Oh my, oh my. Why don't we get a little bit of wood to the other side? Hold on, there we go. Let's transfer some wood. Why don't we get uh, about five? Should be enough to finish cooking up the rest of that. Let's light that fire and that will continue cooking. And ooh, did we collect? Yeah, we did. Okay, because we're gonna be needing that because our dude is still feeling hungry. All right. Now we're back into a bit of a better situation. Let's see what's the main thing we're missing. Was it fiber, I believe it was? It was fiber or hide? One of the two to get this boat crafted up. It's just gonna be fiber. We got all the wood in the world. The dodo, okay, dodo's still in the house, just making sure. I, I don't want him witnessing uh, part two of the tough times. I'm sorry for what you're about to see, dodo. Well, he's not gonna see it. It's actually, <gasps> Tortuga! Oh, senor. We got the Tortuga here. It's, it's the Zhuf, as it's said in uh, in Polish. That's how. Fun fact! Polish word of the day! Hey, should we do that? Should I make the Polish word of the day a thing? Do you guys want to learn a word of Polish at a time? I think so. Zhuf! That is the word for a turtle. I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm not I'm not the best Polish person in the world. My grammar is a little bit poopy, ain't gonna lie, but I tried my darnest, god dang it. Anyways, uh, I know that we were supposed to be collecting fiber, but I saw dodos and I got murderous. Cut me a little bit of slack. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll switch up the gears. We'll become a bit more murderous of bushes. That's right, I am the bush murderer. The Zamia bush murderer, to be exact. But god dang it, I can't wait. You know, we gotta get we gotta get ourselves one of them dudes that like to collect fiber by themselves. I believe it's the Megapithecus or the Gorilla, whichever guy's the Bigfoot Gorilla thing. That guy has got some, uh, well, he likes collecting fiber on his own some, and collecting fiber is really nice. Because then we don't have to manually just break all these bushes. It's, uh, it's rather preferred. Are we good on the bow front? Nope. All right, at least on the arrow front, can we craft? Nope. We're gonna need, uh, like eight more thatch. All right, why don't we, uh, let's, let's get the arrows done first. Because they're gonna use up some of the other resources we need to. We got the pick right here. I think literally one tree should be more than enough thatch. And the wood that we get on top of it is just a bonus. But we have been running low on thatch. We also should upgrade our base to some wood structures because thatch is not the most protective of materials i don't think anyone around here is going to exactly attack our base but you never know when a straight t-rex just decides to neander on over freaking i don't know godzilla emerges from the water listen there's a whole lot of things that are totally possible and i'm just saying i'm i like to you know just i like to play it safe all right let's get two three four five six seven eight nine ten Make sure we craft up enough. That should be the arrows that we were looking for. Marvelous. Ten right there. Not so marvelous. We still need a hell of a lot of fiber. But that should just be a couple of bush kills away. What do we got here? Zombie bush. Let's start collecting y'all. Hey, we even got a level up from all of our collections. Why don't we go and apply that? So what exactly? Why don't we keep on going up in movement speed? If you guys can't tell, I love me some movement speed. Because that's how we get to outrun the very angry animals that we're going to attempt to tame throughout the days i think movement speed especially on mobile will be uh one of our best friends to say the least uh oh dude we just got 10 fiber out of that bush i think this bush is being pretty generous on the fiber side and we're being pretty generous on the bow side and i think i already know why we need the bow i think the game wants us to kill a dillo with the bow and arrow i know i'm like freaking sherlock holmes out here no need no need to tell me i'm aware uh we gotta ready our bow and find a dillo Okay, well, no better way of readying it than double clicking it into existence over here in the hot bar. Probably got to take out a couple of things. Jeez Louise! We got 98 rocks? I just noticed that when I was scrolling through. I'm like, god dang. And then we got to look for an area where there are dillos on the map. I've already been attacked by these little bogus, but I suppose that actually 
They're gonna be right here on the other side of our base. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I hope that, uh... I hope that one of these is more than enough to take out the Dillo. Yeah, you can see the one guy right there. Let's ready our bow. Can I zoom in or anything? Is that a thing? Uh, oh, I should have tried hitting the zoom button. Boop! There we go. Big hit on the Dillo. Let's ready her up again. Boop! There we go. How much longer till you die? I gotta kill three of these? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, he's a little bit distracted. Down goes one Dillo. We're definitely gonna make the most out of this collection. But I really like this whole, like pursuit slash quest system it does a great job at introducing people to arc survival evolved and do i really need to keep on collecting these i i don't know i guess i can but i seriously think that it does do a great job of introducing it to people who maybe have not played the game for example and it says search in the upper left hand corner but i don't think you can tap it it just says search for some reason maybe that's just kind of like telling us how close we are to another dillo looks like it's going to be a little bit more that way is that nighttime or sunrise that better be the sun arising and not it's setting. Feels like it's barely been daytime. Yeah, I think it boops more and more the closer we get to a Dillo. So this is either going to be one probably in the green area over here on the hill. Because it's booping like mad. I got the Lystrosaur, I believe. Oh, there we go. We got a wild Dilla. Hello, Diller. How are you doing there, buddy? Why don't we try this zoom feature a little bit? Oh, rather handy. It is some nice zoom. Boop. There we go. Hopefully one more. And Dillo down. Dillo down. Three is more than enough for all intents and purposes of Oz. Give me what you show me what you got. Dillo, give me all that hide. I don't care about no goddamn glasses, though. I'm sorry. My eyesight is all right. But if any if of you guys see those glasses, let me know. I'll start collecting the glasses off him. I'll, I'll start a charity. Star Snipes glasses for people. I'm, I'm working on the name. Cut me some slack. All right. Although we got to cut now, though, is one more Dillo. Got to mow him down and to defeat. And it should be right around that way. I see a Dodo over there. I don't see a Dillo. But uh, I assume once the exploration begins, the Dillo will surface. I mean, it looks like there's... Yeah, is this the Lystrosaurus? I just want to know for the sake of... It is a Lystrosaur. Look at that. I remember the freaking dinosaur names. What can I say? I'm a genius. Freaking genius, lads. Where is this Dillo, though? I see something weird over there in the water. Actually, what what is that? You guys see it that? Hold the phone. What in tarnation is this? I've never seen anything like this. Is this a jellyfish or? Oh my god, those are jellyfish. Oh dear god, I I don't know if we should like. I uh, hello. hello? <laughs> I don't want to start swimming. I just wanted to kind of wander over. All right, so murderous jellyfish. Those are on the smorgasbord. I think those things drop some pretty good stuff. So we might. I mean, if they just want to chill over here by the shore, we might be able to get some pretty nifty kills out of them. Dillo, I'm going to have to ask you to please step away from... Is that another Dillo? No. I need this Dillo to step away from the Bronto because I'm not trying to piss off Mr. Bronto over here. Bronto's a cool guy. And uh, I feel like maybe what we got to do then is uh, get the sprint in and maybe get the Dillo to notice us. Notice me, senpai. I think we've been noticed. You can start backing it up let's start zooming it in and let's start getting ourselves some marvelous oh r.i.p to that dillo one shot to the face damn on them haters you're dead god dang dude 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 yeah I mean, this is honestly this is actually i'm loving this look at that we just got a better bow there's like this quest system literally gets you rewards dude this is dope second little fiomia what do we need you, they okay so that I, I don't know why it's called a second little fiomi we're not taming things that's for sure breakfast is probably just food to cook up why don't we start up knowledge of the forebears and see what this uh contains for us find an explorer note can you direct me in the right direct oh actually it can't point seven kilometers jesus bro my god i don't know if i'm ready to go point seven freaking kilometers it's a lot of kilometerage you know just more glasses and more trees being broken by the Bronto, I think. Jesus, this Bronto has no respect for nature. 0.7 kilometers, though. Ay, ay, ay. How far away is that? Does it show on our map? Um, oh my. That's going to be a little bit of a hike. Well, I, th I don't think that's too out of the reason, but I do think that this is actually a good point for us to go ahead and start wrapping up this episode of Ark Survival. We've got a ton of productivity done, and I think uh, waiting to set out, because that's going to be its whole entire own adventure, and we got to make sure that we're... Uh, we gotta make sure well, we do have the nicer bow already. So that's gonna be freaking oh, oh, oh. That is like look at that. That's a freaking purple one too. Not even green. It's purple and maybe the free gift next time will give us another Maybe it'll give us like a nice spear for example. I'd love that 
But in the meantime, I think we're just going to stay around home a little bit. We're... Oh, we actually do need to apply that level up. I'm guessing we're going to get into some fights. This is going to be a little bit on the dangerous side. So why don't we up our health? I don't care about upping the melee damage because it is going up a little bit by itself. But also because at the end of the day... You know, we're probably gonna end up killing things, especially like late game, more with animals and with ranged weapons. So I just, don't, I don't like investing into, uh, I don't like investing into melee damage, you know? Like, it's all right, but maybe we could do it early game, reinvest. And we have to create that one potion to be able to put our skills into other skills again or something like that. I don't know, but it's gonna start wrapping up this episode of Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. If you guys did enjoy, if you did, make sure you stick around with that notification bell hits and make sure you subscribe for that. Let me know in the comment section down below. First off, if you remember Frodo, second off, the name of this dodo that we just had that you guys would uh, like to have named. And third off, if you guys are enjoying the series and by hitting that like button as well, because I'm a man of the people and I gotta give the people what they want. If y'all want more Ark, uh, I'm more than happy to give it to you and hopefully to tame a tortuga along the way. But looking like next episode, we're shaping up to have a bit of an adventure that way and probably going to be a lot more dangerous than whenever we're living. So, I mean, we got the armor. We'll probably craft up a couple backup spears and prepare ourselves for a little bit of a journey. But it's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.